Hey, this is Adam from South Coast Yachts. I am at the sail time office in Newport Beach and thought I'd give you a quick tour of one of the very last Beneteau Oceanus 35.1s that came off the production line. This boat has now been discontinued and the uh, boat that replaces it is the new 34.1, which has a lot of different features. But I thought I'd give you a quick tour of uh, the 35.1. There's gonna be a lot of these coming on the market soon for the uh, for used inventory. And if you're interested, feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to help uh, look for one for you and uh, point you in the right direction. Let's get you on board. So again, this is, the, this is a 2021 Beneteau Oceanus 35.1. I believe this actual boat was one of the last ones to come off the production line. They have now discontinued this boat and it is being replaced by the Oceanus 34.1, which the first hulls should be leaving the factory soon. As you see, this boat has the in-mast furling. It's got a double spreader mast. You got your B&G radar up there. And then you have the bold Genoa as well as a Code Zero rigged up on the bow here. I like what they've done with the uh, the bow spritz on these later model 35.1s. Um, and they've kind of off-centered the anchor and the anchor roller from it as well. So yeah, it gives you a little extra area for uh, get that Code Zero or fly spinnaker off the bow. As Benito does, you have the nice hard shine along the hull gives you a lot of internal volume. Walk around this pillar here, sorry guys. And a lot of just great windows. You get good natural lighting throughout. Follow this shine, look at the hull. The tow rail is a fake teak, so that's no maintenance right there, no sanding needed. You got the fair leads, adjustable fair leads for your Genoa track here. And this boat is the, it's got dual helm, Beautiful cockpit, teak table, teak cockpit floors and lazarette seats. And we'll get you on board too, but we'll show you the uh, fold down swim platform, which makes getting on and off the boat while you're at anchor and swimming a breeze. All of our canvas work is done by Memo's Custom Canvas down in San Diego. He does fantastic work. As you see, all this stainless steel is oversized. It's really strong and rigid. Canvas looks beautiful. You got the bimini, three windows in the bimini there, so you can take the covers off there. When you're underneath the bimini, you can still get a good look at your uh, your sail, how that's doing. Take this connector off. <clears throat> then you have the custom Dodger with Macrolon glass on the front here, so that'll never wear out. It looks beautiful. And walk along to the, uh, go check out the port side of the boat. It'll be very similar to the starboard. step on board. Good view of the Dodger and Bimini there. Furling main coming out. You got the rigid boom vang as well. So although we do have a topping lift, it, the boom will not crash down if you loosen the topping lift with that rigid vang. All your lines lead right to the cockpit, which is really nice. You don't have to step forward to handle any sails on board. Let's step into the cockpit here first. You see the beautiful teak work. You got dual helms. You're driving the boat and docking from the port side here. So you have your throttle controls. The nice thing, if you look at this, this handle is nice and short. So when you do have it in reverse, it's not going to get in the way of your wheel at all. Then you got the built-in compass. You have your quick windlass controls here so you can drop the anchor from the cockpit and it's got the chain counter on it. You can also do that up at the bow with a uh, with a remote control. Then you got your B&G multifunction display. You have autopilot controls here which can also be controlled on your B&G display. And then you have bow thrusters. So this has a retractable bow thruster. So you hit these two on buttons, your bow thruster lowers from the boat, and then you have thrust port and starboard if you need it. Hit off, and the bow thruster raises up again. Then you got your primary winches 
leading right back here to the helm station. Put all these covers on. You also, on this boat, really nice, you can really open up this cockpit. You lift up these seats here. It just gives you tons of space there. You got your fusion stereo speakers here. Got an emergency bilge pump here. Bilge pump handle will be underneath this floor. And then you have a hot and cold running fresh water shower here so you can rinse off after a nice dip in the ocean. This side you'll have your propane storage for your stove down below. Just open this up and then you pull this down. There's your propane tank. And then you have another multifunction display here so you can cycle through looking at your wind, your speed, your depth, whatever you want to put on that display there. And you can steer from the starboard side while sailing. Take a look at the nice swim platform. It's got a lot of space. You can get it down here and kick back and lounge, get some sun in the back. And it gives you a nice view up into the boat. Let's walk forward. So you got your fair leads running out here. So you got your code zero, you got all your furling lines. Here's your code zero furling line. This is your furling line for the head sail just wrapped up and put away nicely and then you have all your sheets so the code zero sheets running back there these would be your genoa sheets blue sheets are for the code zero there all running through fair leads so nothing's gonna get all tangled up and then you do have the adjustable cars here so you can get the best sail shape depending on if you're heading downwind or upwind hauled in tight or not Take a look at all the lines running through all these blocks right underneath the Dodger, right to the cabin top. Everything is labeled as well. I'll show you that when we get back there. One nice thing I'll point out that we do at South Coast Yachts when we're commissioning boats is we will put conduit over all these wires. It really cleans everything out, adds a little bit of safety and just makes it look great. Stepping forward here take a look at the quick windlass here you got the your remote control right there and then you can also manually uh, crank this with the wind channel there if you need to you see how the the bow roller runs through this and then right to the windlass and then the anchor locker which has a lot of space stepping back Turning around, we can get a good view of the boat looking aft. We'll come along the port side here, get back to the cockpit. Good hand holds on the uh, Dodger as well. So this is a nice feature, it's an add-on that Memo can do. So you have a lot of place to uh, grip and hold on and be secure. So back in the cockpit table, you see the beautiful Beneteau emblem. It's in there, beautiful teak varnish deluxe cockpit table here you got added storage with drains you can put ice in there cup holders everywhere which is key and then secondary winch you got primary winch which is also electric two-speed winch which is excellent and then as you see Everything we do at South Coast Yachts, we label all your lines, all your blocks. Even down below, I'll, I'll show you uh, when you lift up a floorboard and you find a hose or a, or a line going somewhere, it's going to be labeled for you. And just look how beautiful that Macrolon glass is. It's almost like it's not there. Nice wide opening for the companionway and nice gentle sloping fiberglass staircase on this boat. You can get the upgraded version which would be the wood stairs let's take you down below and show you what she's like. all right so here we are down below on the Oceanus 35.1 this is the two cabin one head version with added shower stall you can see all the natural lighting here all the curtains are open right now you just get beautiful lighting this is the white oak interior or the light oak interior which just makes the boat nice and bright and airy and 
you don't feel all claustrophobic, but this boat has a lot of space in it too. We're looking at, I'm six foot tall. I have at least another three inches over my head here. You get two burner stainless steel stove with oven. It's gimbaled. You have a microwave that runs off an inverter or offshore power. You have refrigeration and a little ice box. And then a nice big deep stainless steel sink, which is wonderful and pressurized water. Take you for a look at the uh, dinette here. So you have the, the folding leaf table here. So you got the settees to port and starboard and then folding leaf table so you can sit everyone all around and then those lock into place with added storage in there. Looking up to the V-berth, you got these the double door entrance here. You can close that off and have a lot of privacy. As you see, it's nice and bright and airy up in here as well, which is fantastic. And then behind here, you have ample storage, hanging lockers, all the storage you need, both to port and starboard. Looking aft, you can see the nav station. It's kind of integrated with the uh, starboard settee. Nice thing about this is have this table down for nav station. You can also fold this up and then have a filler cushion put in here. So if you did want to sleep out here, you have a nice long settee to nice long bunk on there. Got your fusion stereo here. This is all Bluetooth and that's hooked up to your B&G unit outside. So you can control all your, your music and your sound from the B&G unit. Here's your uh, VHF radio. And then your AC and DC panel, so all your breaker switches. You can check your batteries. So we get a nice charge on those. You can check your water tanks right there. So we got full tanks. You can check your fuel, fuel full fuel as well. And then here's your inverted control. So if you are offshore power and you want to run the microwave or plug into any of your regular outlets, you just push that button. And you watch this needle pop up. And then it'll happen in a minute. There it is. And then you have power running all your outlets in your microwave when you're not on shore power. Easy as that. So starboard side, we have a pretty nice spacious head in here. Deep sink. Lots of great lighting. Of course, you can get some privacy curtains here. And then after the head, you have a dedicated shower, which is really nice. So your head isn't getting all wet. Nice dedicated shower here. Lots of space here too. And this has like a little, you know, soap dispenser and good lighting if you need it. Holding tank just discharges in here. So you get three miles offshore, you can just, uh, lift this up there'll be a valve you can open up right there and just empty out and see that there? there you go hoses that are labeled so you know exactly what that's for and then having added labels here is handy as well before we go into the aft cabin which is really spacious I'll just show you the engine access so you just lift up the stairs on these gas pistons you have great access to your Yanmar diesel engine right here you can crawl all the way in here. You got your raw water strainer, you got your coolant. You got access to all of your, all the dipsticks you need to do all your regular maintenance checks. And of course you have panels in the shower you can take off so you can get access to the side of the engines on both sides, in the cabin and in the shower. So we'll close this up. And we will show you the aft cabin. Now this is really the, the master stateroom. I have the curtains closed in here right now just to show you what the lighting is like um, with the, the lights on. But you have nice big, this, this is big kind of L shape. So it goes way back here. You got tons of space back here. So, you know, plenty of room for two grown ups, probably three if you needed. Definitely a bunch of kids. You can throw everyone back here, the whole family. And then you got all your storage as well here. So yeah, boat. Benetton does a great job with providing you a lot of storage Then your main battery switches here. Turn around, just give you a quick little 
view of the 35.1 looking forward. There she is. The galley is nice and secure. Lots of storage. Then right up there to the cockpit. That's where all the fun happens. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the 2021 Beneteau Oceanus 35.1. Although this particular boat is not for sale and Beneteau has discontinued making them, there will be a lot of them coming on the market soon. Um, you can give me a call or send me an email anytime at 949-973-4812 or adam at scyachts.com. I can help you find the perfect boat of your dreams, whether it's Beneteau or any make. Thank you very much.